want to kick on, once again, for Traumatic Brain Injury Month, Awareness Month, I want to deal with something that's concerning the cognitive behavioral therapy that's something that, that is, affects a lot of survivors, including myself, which was memory, okay? So some things that can be done with memory to try to help get memory back, to help with familiarity. And I think that comes down to certain techniques that I started using that I had learned previous to my uh, brain injury uh, involving cognitive behavioral and things like uh, studying techniques for college and for high school and things like uh, where there's a will, there's an A and ways that you can actually transfer information from your short-term memory into your long-term memory for tests. So little tests like little, little techniques like that, uh, memory cards or things of that nature or some of those pictures where you see and just trying to recall what you see on there, just doing that and training the cognitive abilities again and those neural pathways again, neuroplasticity once again, it helps a lot, okay? Dealing with the memory factor of it. And there's several different parts of the cognitive therapy that helped me, okay? That was one of them. I, I was blessed that uh, my definitely my long-term memories were there, but um, at first it was kind of difficult to transfer short-term memories into long-term. You know what I mean? Just a little bit. It came back really quick when I had what's called a clearing out. As a survivor, I cleared out. But at first, it was kind of a little bit like scrambled eggs, you know. So it's just little things to keep tra practicing, like riding a bike. You know, I had to learn how to do mathematics again. I had to sit down and learn how to walk again when I actually was cognizant again. So it's before I became cognizant again and had that clearing out. So little stuff like that, and I just want to focus on memory in that. I don't want to go too far off on this. So if you're having memory problems, I have some other fellow survivors, like in my support group. And they struggle with memory really, really bad. I have one survivor a friend. I mean, I, 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 she can't, you know, remember like almost how to drive home. Someone has to get her. She can't get back to home. And so things of memory can happen like that. But it's varying degrees. So it's worth trying some of these techniques and trying to familiarize yourself and use some of the memory things that will transfer from short term to long term. It can be done because we do it for tests. So just something like that, little techniques of that. We'll talk more about this later. I want to give a love to all support systems for TBI survivors, to all TBI survivors themselves. Much love. Peace.